One of the most important things you can do for your listing on Amazon is to optimize the title. Hey, this is Nick Hodge with Sellers Arena. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about not only how to optimize your title, but how to make sure the canonical URL is in alignment with that title and your product. This is one of the most important things you can optimize on your listing when you're trying to get yourself more relevant in the eyes of Amazon, when you're trying to, well, even be more clear about what your product is. That's a part of this also, because we're going to be adjusting the title. We're going to be playing around with the title to then affect the canonical URL. And just really quickly, what is the canonical URL? Usually five words in the URL right after amazon.com. Let's say, for example, you entered into the listing through the back end, through your Seller Central account. It won't show this the same way. This is when you come through the search results. Okay, so the other way you can do this, I'm on a Mac. You can go to on the PC, I believe it's page details. You're going to right click and get to that. And then you're going to do a control F or command F in my case. And you're going to search here for canonical. See, before I even finished it, there it is. And you can check it there so you can actually see the same thing vitamin c zinc veggie capsules bioflavonoids all right so let's go ahead and close that so this is what you can literally do first is i want you guys to go and look at your current titles and see what are the first four or five keywords or what are the most important keywords especially that can describe your product and you want to make sure those are in within those first five and then add a dash after those first five to try to help force those keywords into the canonical. Now we're gonna go over another step here in a second of how you can make sure those keywords change in your canonical if it's not working after you add the dash. We'll get to that later. But I just wanna say that first because what I'm gonna show you here using Helium 10's magnet tool is a way to check the search volume of the words that we're using in our first five and then potentially continually checking that you know every month or every quarter you know to see if we're still with the keywords that are most relevant if we have options to swap them out and still be clear about what the product is we can do that with real data okay so jumping over to magnet i've already taken these first main keywords here that we actually see in the canonical these five words here i've dropped these into magnet already separated by comma okay so if you're not familiar with helium 10 in your tools here you can go to keyword research go to magnet and drop in your keywords here. And then we're gonna go get keywords, we're gonna do a new search, and we're actually gonna see the total search volume of those five keywords. This is good data because it's gonna show you that, okay, for these five, I get a search volume of 200,000. Now say for example, just for whatever reason, we wanna make supplement be in the canonical, okay? So we could change that. For example, we take out veggie and we put in supplement. Okay, we go get keywords. Okay, so that didn't change it very much. Now say for example, we didn't have the keyword zinc in here and I've already tested this before. Zinc is a big one. And so if we take out zinc, check out the search volume. 47,000 total search volume. Okay, so this is why it's really important. So say for example, your product, you know, this is your product and you didn't mention the word zinc or you did, but somehow it wasn't in your canonical URL you could be missing out on a massive amount of search volume because you didn't have zinc in the title or in your canonical. So the second part of this is if it's not changing, if your canonical URL is not changing after 24 or 48 hours, you wanna open a ticket with Amazon seller support and tell them what's going on and tell them you want to, you want them to change your canonical URL to X canonical URL. And then would you please do that? Of course, be polite, et cetera, et cetera, whenever you're talking to seller support. But again, just be clear about what you want them to change it to. And most of the time they can go ahead and force that change for you. Okay. Because it should be relevant keywords. And you can even explain that to them. Like you're trying to get the most search volume and make your listing as relevant as possible for your customers on Amazon. And would you please change this? Okay. So that's always a good explanation and good uh, way to explain it to them. Make sure you let them know it's in their benefit too. All right, guys. So I hope you got a lot of good, valuable information out of this video. Um, step one, definitely go check your current canonical URL. Step two, if it's not in alignment with your product, if it isn't the highest volume keywords, make sure you fix it. Um, and, and step three, if it's not working, check with Amazon seller support and have them force that change for you. But yeah, in the meantime, make sure you subscribe. Give me a like if you did get some value out of the video. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.